In this video, we will explore how to test a function that mutates a parameter. We will start with the doc test example and then translate it to PyTest. Here is a function that removes items from one list that appear in another list. The algorithm is straightforward. For each item in the second list, if that item appears in the first list, remove it. In the doc test, we create two lists. We've intentionally not used L1 and L2 as variable names in order to remind everyone that parameters are local variables, and we can use any names we like for the two lists outside of the function. Now we call function remove shared. The function has no return statement. It produces none. This means that when we call the function, there is no useful return value to examine in our test. Instead, we examine list 1, and then list 2. We want to make sure that list 1 has been mutated properly. For thorough testing, we also need to make sure that list 2 has not been mutated. It's important to check this if you pass a mutable parameter to a function that isn't supposed to mutate that value. Let's write the PyTest version. Let's import the module containing the functions that we're testing. We'll write only one function because there is only one call to function remove shared in the doc test. Remember that every PyTest test function has to start with the letters TEST underscore. Because our test involves two lists where there are some shared items and some non shared items, we will choose test general case for our name. The doc string should describe the test. Remember that if the test fails, then this doc string is part of the output, so try to make it clear and helpful. Now let's write the actual testing code. We will copy and paste from the doc test to initialize our two lists. Once we call remove shared, we expect the lists to look like this. So we will call the function remove shared and then add two assert statements, one to check that the value of each list is what we expect. And now if variable underscores name refers to the string underscores main, then we'll run our unit tests. Remember that we have to give PyTests main a list of the Python files in which it should look for functions starting with test underscore. Let's see how we did. We'll run our doc tests. Notice that there is no output. That's a good thing. And now we'll run our PyTest unit test. The single dot indicates that our only test function passed. And that's how you test a function that mutates a parameter. If you wanted to thoroughly test function remove shared, you would have to decide what your tests should be and then write one function for each test that you came up with. We will leave that as a practice exercise.